All right, this is Russ Hardy with Field Piece Instruments, and we're gonna show you the SVG3 vacuum gauge. This is our brand new vacuum gauge. This guy is just a really simple creature. Uh, it's just a purely a vacuum gauge, me measures microns, has a couple alarm settings, and it's just super tough. And a new case for it, has a rubberized case that you can kind of, you know, make sure it grips. And then the, uh, the hook on it is a little bit different than we've ever done before, anything that you've ever seen. It's built with our strap, so similar to the way our magnets are in some of our meters, but also has a hook just because it's going to be hanging, you know, a lot of pounds of hoses sometimes up on the system. And then it just folds easily right back. So we'll show you how it hangs on a, on a, uh, on a bottle of refrigerant here in a minute when we go in, or an empty tank when we go in and uh, pull a vacuum. So let's just check out the buttons and a couple of the features. So again, this is really dirt simple. There's not many buttons. You notice the blue button, it's a little bit different look. And what this is, the power button. It also is the light button. So first I'm gonna turn it on. And then you can just tap it to turn the light on. Tap it to turn the light off. And then you know hold it down for a couple of seconds to turn it off. Then we have the uh, alarm and enter button on the right hand side. The alarm is just to set your high and low alarms. So we have two different alarms in the SVG3. First, the low alarm, and it's indicated right here with the little low on the screen. And this is defaulted to 500. You use the arrows to adjust it, and we'll just keep it at 500 for now. And then cycle through and set the high alarm. And the same thing, just cycle through each digit, and you can change them with the up and down arrows. And so what those alarms for is uh, when you're pulling down a vacuum and you hit 500, the lower alarm will go off. Then you turn off, isolate the system, turn off the vacuum pump, and see if it creeps up past 1,000 in about five minutes. That's pretty much industry standard. And so that way you can tell that you uh, have a deep vacuum and have fixed all the leaks in the system if it passes that test. And uh, so what we're gonna do now is actually hook it up to a vacuum pump. So. Uh, let's get it going. Now before we start our evacuation, what I'm gonna show you is just the, the hook, how the hook works. So you'll notice that it's, you know, it's a strap, like I said before, and then you'll notice when I hang from it, it kind of tilts up, and when you hang it on a, you know, a system, it's, it tilts up like that, so you're always kind of, it's always looking up at you, you know, usually this is gonna be lower than your eyesight, and so you want that hook looking up at you. A lot of the other vacuum gauges with the stiff hooks, you know, they'll you'll notice that they point down like that. And so you have to really either grab it and point it up or just bend down to actually see it. So this is one little thing we, we uh, thought about to make sure that you can easily, more easily see, you know, your, your micron reading while it's just hanging on the system. So anyways, what we're gonna do is I got a, uh, got a setup behind me, got a recovery tank. And this is already pulled in vacuum just to make this video a little bit shorter. And I got a Tez 8 Appian uh, vacuum pump. So what I'm gonna, what I, and I got that set up to uh, you know, the red side. We're just gonna simulate this as our system. So this would be the high side and the low side. And I'm just gonna pull a vacuum through just the high side. I got two black vacuum rated hoses. You always wanna make sure that you use vacuum rated hoses instead of just your standard red, yellow, and blue hoses while doing a vacuum. These will just help you out. Um, they're not gonna leak and it's just a little bit more efficient way to pull a vacuum. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, first you, uh, I'll show you a couple different ways the SVG3 hooks up to the system. So, it comes with a T-fitting right here. You see the T-fitting with a cap. And so this is for a couple reasons. If you wanna do it in line, just like this, the SVG, it makes the SVG3 really easy. Just attach it to the T in line and hang it just like that. So that's one way to do it. Our preferred way is to actually use a core removal tool. And Appian also makes a really nice core removal tool. Let me just get this off and get my, uh, my cap back on so I don't lose my vacuum when I open up the recovery tank. So this is a core removal tool. It's just a really simple tool. You can see that it, uh, you know, it's a really, it's a hollow tool all the way through. If I open up the valve, you can see right through it. And what this does is it includes a ball valve. It also goes right to the uh, service port of the system. So I'm gonna remove my hose, attach the core removal tool. 
And so what you would do is remove the core of the Schrader and then attach this so you can get an even faster vacuum pull. Okay, and then hook up your hose directly to the core removal tool. And so it straight through. And then where the vacuum gauge goes is right to this port on the side. All right, and there we go. In my opinion, that's just the cleanest way to pull a vacuum. So what we'll do is, I already, I already had this pulled down, so what I'm gonna do is uh, first turn on my pump so I don't lose my vacuum. Then I'm gonna open up the valve. Now you notice it's at about 800. What I wanna show you is the alarm function. So it should go down to 500 rather quickly, just because I already had it low. And so what the timer is doing is that on my upper screen, I have 700 microns. On my lower screen, I have a timer. This is telling me how long it actually takes to pull down that vacuum. You know, this, take, this would normally take about half an hour or 20 minutes to completely get this tank down. And it, the size of the system, you'll want to know that time. So the time will let you know how long it actually took to get down to that level. What we'll do is we'll just let this pull down to 500 and we'll come back right when it's about at 500. All right, now, now you can see that we have, we're about 502 microns. That took about 10 minutes get down that far. It's always the last few that take a long time. Then we, our alarm went off. Now it's hovering, so now we have 498. So this is what the alarm sounds like when you hit the low alarm. Same thing for the high alarm. But what we're gonna do is now time for the high alarm. And I'm gonna isolate the system by using my valve. Now you notice right when I hit the valve, it jumped up to like 700 or now it's stable at 550 about. That's just because there's little air pockets within the valve. And so you can open it and close it a couple times. And you're always going to lose a little bit just on that valve. And then the only thing I'm changing is the valve. You'll just notice the microns kind of jump up. So, and that's okay. It jumped up almost 100 microns. That is okay. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn off my vacuum pump. And so you can see that the valve held and it's stable and it's rising really slowly. So we're probably not going to get up to a thousand anytime soon. One way to check on that is press the alarm button to get into normal mode. And you can see this little indicator at the bottom. It's basically saying it's rising about eight microns per minute. So you can see that just based on that rate, it's gonna take a really long time for it to get up to a thousand, which is good, that's a good thing. Now if it was rising, rising up fast, you'd be able to easily see it with both the level of microns, you can see it rising fast, or the, uh, the rate calculator. Just a little bit, a uh, little tool that uh, makes it a little bit easier on you. And that is the Fieldpiece SVG3. It's available now. Find it at your local distributor.